here in Braddock near U.S. Steel's Edgar Thompson plant. Pennsylvania U.S. Senator John Fetterman, who lives just across the street from the plant, is sounding alarm about the deal. U.S. Steel says it's being acquired by Nippon Steel in an all-cash deal valued at nearly $15 billion. The United Steelworkers Union says it's been open to working with U.S. Steel to keep it domestically owned. It says U.S. Steel, quote, chose to push aside the concerns of its dedicated workforce and sell to a foreign-owned company. Senator Fetterman says... The fact that they didn't even talk to the union and mention this, or they didn't run it past our office, even just as like a heads up, by the way. I mean, this is a, this is a huge thing. The president of the Steelworkers Local 1219 here in Braddock says he and his members were caught by surprise. I feel like a, a age-old company that was here is now gone. Even though they're going to retain the name, it is no longer owned domestically. Nationally, the union is urging government regulators to carefully scrutinize the acquisition and determine if it serves America's national security interests and if it benefits workers. And I've always maintained that steel is security, national security, and the fact that now they're uh, claiming that they're going to sell this to a, a, a foreign uh, company, um, it's, it's outrageous. We also spoke with the senior associate dean at Pitt's School of Business, Sarah Moeller. Nippon has said, along with U.S. Steel, that they're going to work with the unions. Um, obviously, that's still yet to be seen and negotiated through. Uh, I can understand that, that Nippon maybe didn't talk to them before the announcement, uh, but I think we need to get, let them have some time to actually discuss this. By U.S. Steel's Edgar Thompson plant in Braddock, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.